to knowledge of self determination. So I wanted to give you guys some more uh updated info on Trump and uh his U his ambassador to the UN, Nikki Haley, who is apparently um attacking Russia's behavior in the Ukraine. This is at her first appearance in the U at the UN Security Council. So I'll read a little bit of this report. Her words come in stark contrast to the person who gave her the job. President Trump has repeatedly indicated he would ease sanctions on Russia and on numerous occasions gushed over the country's president. Now, I don't really know what that means. Uh, well, not the gushed over part, but but holding in contrast what uh, Nikki Haley is saying about uh, Russia and and basically condemning them for their actions in Ukraine and Trump being buddy buddy with you know the Russian president and seeming as though they really have no issues with each other. Uh, could this possibly make an enemy out of Russia? Trump doing this and taking these uh, actions through his UN, uh, his ambassador to the UN. Um, I'm going to read on. Mrs. Haley acknowledged the UN sought to improve relations with Russia, but told the council its actions on Ukrainian soil demanded, quote, clear and strong condemnation of Russian actions, end quote. So they sought to improve relations with Russia, but then changed their mind. Now, Russia has been, it changed their minds in spite of the actions of Russia in the Ukraine. Russia has been pretty much occupying and terrorizing Ukrainian citizens for the past, what, two or three years now? And they're just realizing this. Um, so my question is, what is Trump's end game in all of this? Because the whole Russia-Ukraine thing isn't new. So, how, anyway, I'm, I'm going to read on. Let's see. She added the violence in the region must stop and confirmed U.S. sanctions against Russia over its annexation of Crimea would not be eased. Mrs. Haley made clear the U.S. The US supported the Ukrainian citizens who, quote, have suffered nearly three years under Russia occupation and military intervention, end quote. So it's three years. The revolution comes amid other contrasts to critics' prediction over the foreign policy directions that would be taken by the Trump administration. Despite Trump's passion, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm gonna read this next one because this is a completely different story. Um, and this is about uh, Israel. Despite Trump's passionate support for Israel throughout the presidential camp, his presidential campaign, his spokesman said on Thursday, expanding Jewish settlements on the West Bank, quote, may not be helpful, end quote, in achieving peace. Trump's team has also eased off Trump's pledge to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, a decision that would infuriate Palestinians who see Jerusalem as their capital. So, I don't know. Is Trump trying to piss off everyone in the world? I mean, the North Koreans, China, uh, Australia, um, possibly Russia, possibly Israel, probably more than likely the Palestinians, um, the Iranians, possibly pockets of people in Syria, if not the country itself. I mean, I mean, is this guy going for the Guinness World Book record of the most hated president that the United States have ever seen or elected? In any event, you let me know what you guys think about about this. Was Trump, you know, kind of double dealing with Russia all t for, all together, like trying to get him close and then smack the sanctions on him once they got him close? I don't know. I'm not sure what his end game is and could his end game be in the detriment or the benefit of the
the United States as a whole. And do our troops really need to be in any more conflicts? I mean, really, do we need to lose any more lives in needless, senseless wars that are fought over resources more than anything else? But you let me know what you guys think in the comment section. It's not your self-determination. Like, line, and subscribe. The link will be in the description box. Peace.